Hey good day guys. I welcome you to my channel. Um in this tutorial I'm going to show you the steps on how to minify JavaScript and CSS files on your website so your website can actually run very fast. Um in minifying JavaScript and CSS files on your website. We are going to be making use of a simple and free to use WordPress website. So, in doing that, I'm going to navigate to plugins section of my website backend, then click on the add new section. Okay, the interface to upload or install my plugin should be displayed up here. So, I'm going to search for the plugin name. The plugin name is Assets. up okay let's wait while the plugin shows up okay this is the plugin we'll be making use of the asset cleanup page poster this plugin is a free to use um wordpress speed poster so i'm going to install so let's wait while the plugin installs and then we're going ahead to Activate the plugin and then I'll show you the settings to configure so you can be able to minify your JavaScript and CSS files on your website. Okay, the plugin just installed now, so I'm going to activate this plugin. So immediately you activate this plugin, you will be um, taking Back to the plugin dashboard that says welcome to assets cleanup version 1.3.7.7 so I might go ahead and actually clear my page cache okay because I make use of WP rocket plugin that also helps me to speed up my website page load time so after clearing my cache it is not very necessary if you don't make use of the caching plugin so I'm going to navigate to the settings okay when I click on the settings another page will come up this way please prevent uses useless and often large CSS and JS files increasing your total page size so I'm going to scroll down here and check this button here and then update all settings okay I have um, updated the settings so what next to do is please read the following tips regarding the usage of asset cleanup to avoid any inconveniences later okay usually um, CSS files are what we cause your website layout to break. So, in order to prevent that, we're going to start our um, settings from JavaScript. So, I'm going to click on Optimize JavaScript and then check this button JavaScript File Minification. Okay, then I'm going to check this button also minify inline javascript content within script tags then i'm going to scroll down combine javascript into fewer files i will be also checking this and leave this as it is as default then i'm going to scroll down then move jquery inline code after jQuery library is called, I will be also checking this button here. Then scroll down once more. Cache dynamic load JavaScript. I'm be checking this button also. Then I am done with um, minifying the JavaScript section of my website. I'm going to update all settings, and then I'm going to go ahead and configure the CSS part of my website 
please note this particular CSS is what will cause your website layout to break so you must be very skeptical in the option you check and the importance and the settings you check so I'm going to click on optimize CSS then CSS modification files I'm going to check this button as well then I'm going to minify inline CSS content within style stack also then combine loaded CSS style sheet into fewer files you see compile all the CSS file in one file so as not to consume a lot of load time as well then I'm going to scroll down and check the cache dynamic loaded CSS option as well and then I'm going to update all settings as well so I have um, minified both JavaScript and CSS files on my website so guys if you'll be making use of this free plugin as well and you can let me know your results in the comment section below and thanks for watching my video on how to minify JavaScript and CSS files on WordPress website. Thanks and God bless.